In this video, I'll show you how to receive weather satellite images from the American NOAA weather satellites at home with a simple V-shaped dipole antenna, an RTL-SDR software-defined receiver, and some free software. The starting point for this video is the Raspberry Pi 5 RTL-SDR version 4 bundle from Elector. It contains the Raspberry Pi 5 for radio amateurs book, a flexible tripod mount, a suction cup mount, a 3 meter RG174 extension cable with SMA connectors, a dipole antenna base, two sets of telescopic antennas, and of course the RTL SDR version 4 dongle itself. The product link can be found in the video description. Even though there are already plenty of videos on YouTube that show how to receive NOAA weather satellites, I wanted to see if a very basic setup without specialized filters and a preamplifier will yield acceptable results. Spoiler alert, it does. In order to build a suitable ground station, you first need to know a few things about the weather satellites you want to receive. And give us a dedicated satellite for this operation. It's already done. At the time of this video, there are three NOAA satellites transmitting the most basic weather images through a service called Automatic Picture Transmission, or APT for short. This service can be received worldwide when the satellites are in quasi-optical range. For a half-wave dipole antenna, you will need two quarter wavelength sections. The theoretical length of each section for a receive frequency of around 136 MHz can be calculated to be approximately 55.147 cm long. However, due to the end effect, both sections need to be a little bit shorter than the theoretical length. For the V-shaped half-wave dipole, I found the ideal length to be 51.5 cm or around 20 and a quarter inch long, which is around 93.4% of the theoretical length. I then used one of my light stands to mount the antenna. The dipole base is equipped with a quarter inch female screw, which makes mounting on a standard tripod quite easy. If you do not have a tripod, you can of course use the flexible tripod included in the kit. The two sections are angled so that the inner angle is 120 degrees as shown here. The extension cable from the kit is connected to the dipole antenna to allow a greater distance between the antenna and my laptop. A Nano VNA version 2 is then used to verify the voltage standing wave ratio in the desired frequency range. This step is not necessary because I already verified the antenna parameters for you. But if you do have a VNA and want to verify the performance of your antenna yourself, be sure to properly calibrate the VNA through the extension cable. A sweep analysis shows a SWR below 1.2 between 135 and 138.1 MHz with a near-perfect match around 136.5 MHz. With the antenna's performance verified, it's time to take the entire setup outside. An obstacle-free view of the sky is highly beneficial. Antenna in position. While waiting for the next pass of NOAA 15, let's talk about the software side of the setup. The antenna is connected directly into the RTL SDR version 4 using the extension cable. SDR Sharp is used to demodulate the received signal. It's set to receive NOAA 15 on 137.62 MHz with an FM demodulation bandwidth of 50 kHz. The demodulation bandwidth is a bit larger than the APT signal itself, but setting it to 50 kHz has the benefit of being able to ignore the Doppler shift of the satellite. To actually decode the demodulated audio signal, a separate software called wx to image is used. The software is able to take audio directly from the stereo mix of your computer so that no virtual audio cables are required. If you correctly set up wx to image with your location information, the software will let you know what NOAA satellite will pass by next and automatically start decoding when the satellite is in range. Don't worry if the received image appears distorted at first. When the decoding is completed, wx to image will automatically correct the image using the synchronization frames of the APT signal. And there you have it, weather satellite images directly from space with minimal effort.